So I'm trying to make these as thick as like bread would be. So it's gonna hold the meat and cheese. I don't want to go too insane. Like I could go thicker, but I don't bite into that, into that much tomato. You were a tomato! A tomato doesn't have logic! A tomato can't move! You guys aren't stupid. You know what this is. This is a tomato. And today it's gonna act as the bread, the vehicle. Vehicle. To hold the cheeseburger before we put it in our mouths. Why? Because TikTok sucks. I know what you guys are thinking. I know Shawnee sandwiches really well. And this guy loves making bad decisions. You guys, hello. Welcome back to Sean's first time eating. Today, I've been intrigued by this trend. This, this is very low carb. My homies, the Wall Twins, just made tomato burgers. And I love those guys. They're dear, dear friends on the internet. And I just wanted to give it a go in my tiny Chicago apartment. You know, I'm not gonna cook these really well or anything. I'm just gonna make some standard cheeseburgers and I'm gonna see if this is the best or the worst or somewhere in the middle thing to do. I cut a tomato earlier, uh, about two minutes ago. And now, now I've got, so now I've got two tomatoes. Some to snack on. <laughs> I've heard of lettuce wrap tacos, you know, in a pinch, I'll do that. But this is borderline psychotic. Like, this is something a serial killer would do. I've talked about this many times before on the, on the vlog and in my channels. One time, uh, I was in Las Vegas. This is way before the last time, years and years ago. And I watched a guy order a plain baked potato at Binion's in Old Vegas, and he sat and he ate it, and I thought, that guy's got people in his basement. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm gonna dip this potato in some crushed Vicodin. Gonna kind of get all the moisture out of these tomatoes. Do a little salt. We'll do a little snacking tomatoes too. Um, I don't want you guys to think that I've changed on you and that I'm done eating carbs, you know? Uh, so I cracked myself a Revolution Anti-Hero IPA. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna balance everything out here, okay? I've had 1,500 of these beers, and for some reason, that beer never gets old. It's like Bell's Too Hearted. I just, it's like, it's what I consider beer to taste like now. Cheers. Now, definitely only do this. If you like tomato, or punish yourself, whatever. I also thought it would be funny just to get like the thickest, the thickest burgers possible for this. So I got these pub style Thick boys. <laughs> so I'm actually donating this video. I'm dedicating this video. Donating and dedicating this video to two people. One, to Maddie Pans, dear friend, watch the show, and KB, Courtney Bay singer, who I want to see make, sometime this spring or summer, tomato burgers. Film a little thing of it, and we're going to show it on the blog. You can do it for your own channels if you'd like, but I want to see you guys make a couple of tomato burgers. And <laughs> I just want to see the reaction. So I'm calling you guys out. This is a call out now. Fresh tomatoes. Imagine that. Going in my air fryer. 375. For an undisclosed amount of time. I don't know how long it's going to take to cook them thick, boys, but we'll be, we'll be back soon. And I want you to use these beautiful vine-ripe tomatoes. Look at how ridiculous these pub burgers I bought at the grocery store are. All cooked, air fried up. <laughs> Look at these hockey pucks. Look at this. <laughs> what? Just wanted to show you guys, I'm gonna put cheese on these real quick. Melt it in the air fryer. Cheese is melted. American cheese, I'm not a noob. Look at this, it's just that glassy. <laughs> American cheese amazingness that you know and love. So traditionally you would put mustard and mayonnaise a lot of the times on the bun, but since we can't really do that, take our tomato, bottom bun, take our meat and cheese, little Hellman's mayo, not too much, I'm a little worried what's gonna happen when I bite into this. <laughs> a little mustard, okay. I'm going real basic here on purpose. I could put way more on a burger. I'm trying to go real tradish. We're gonna take our mater. We're gonna put it right on top. Can I use those condiments as glue? <laughs> and then I'm also making one for Allie. Go here, go here. Hey, don't fall off. I kind of assumed that would happen, but don't do that. You stay. Mayo, mustard. 
little tomato. I mean, this is ridiculous. Now we've come to the hardest part of this video, which is picking it up. Okay, not terrible. And then trying to eat this. I mean, look at the nice little condiment drip we got going though. Look at these things. It's absolutely ridiculous. That's not supposed to be red up there. <laughs> Doing wedding invites. <laughs> Taking a quick break. I feel like I need all of my hair up. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get ready for this meal. Put the hair up, stop everything you're doing, take the engagement ring off, it's a whole thing. Oh, do I like two hand it? I think you just two hand it. It's gonna get a little ridiculous. It's a massive burger. I know. I'm scared. Go for it. Wow. I'm scared of what my face looks like, but it's pretty delicious. <laughs> what, really? Yeah. You slice the tomato really well. I could do with like three-fourths the size of the, size of the burger? Yeah, the burger's too big, I get that now. Wow, it's like incredible. <laughs> Lila, your thoughts? He's just laying in the sun, he doesn't mind. You got this nice sun-like flare going on right now. All right, you crazy kids, Shawnee Sandwich's turn. That's what we're looking at right now. Tomato, tomato, burger, cheese, mustard, mayo, classic. Will this catch on in our household? We'll see. Don't get the uh, pub burgers for this. All right, here we go. I love you. All right, wow. It's actually hilarious how much this still works even without bread because the meat and the cheese and the condiments on a burger are what matter. The bun, if you're one of those people that's talking about the bun on a burger, you're not doing a burger right. It's so sloppy, obviously. You also start to really understand how much the bread soaks up all the ridiculousness of eating a burger. It's really good. Would you guys try this? Like, if you're not tomato people, I get it. You're not gonna do it. But what would be another vehicle? Like, besides bread, what could you do? What would withhold the juice levels? Mm-hmm. I thought those tomatoes were gonna, like, disintegrate and not work. They're staying intact. From putting this in my hand, up and down, they're still there. This is obviously too much meat, like do a much thinner patty, but it's still working with Thick Boy. This reminds me of the Good Burger movie, how thick that like burger was. I don't know why that's the vibe I'm getting right now, but if you can't eat bread. I need a mid-meal shower. Highly encouraged. I remember when I was single, I eat about 80% of my meals over the sink. <laughs> What a sad life. You know the ultimate thing would be to eat like this burger and then on the side have some fried green tomatoes. As a side. <laughs> what a ridiculous trend. Could I do this with an onion? I'll bite into an onion like an apple. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I thought this was gonna be a huge like swing and a miss. Although it is like so sloppy. Like look at this goop on my cutting board. But I'm not afraid to get down in the trenches with you guys and get a little down and dirty, you know? I mean, I ate the whole thing. Well, there you have it. What did we learn today? Use a thinner patty for sure. Still work though. Two, tomatoes can be bread. Stuff can be two things. For the summer, like a summer grill out, if you're trying to cut like carbs for whatever reason, I know this is insane. It was so good, sorry, it's so messy. <laughs> I know, that's the biggest drawback. Less than the flavor, more of just like, you need to have a bib on. Yeah, I need some like wet wipes. Like I definitely have some sort of sauce on my nose right now. Today's video is sponsored by Dude. Just kidding, but that would have been a good use. That was so good. I'm sorry I'm still in your video just saying. No, this. I mean, I, it helps them understand, it humanizes it a bit of like, wow, he's not just blowing smoke. Like, it actually was really good. I mean, it's insane. If you don't like tomatoes, you're gonna hate biting just straight into two like wet tomatoes. But if you do like tomatoes, I think you give this a whirl. Yeah, I love tomatoes. There's the Sean before this video, and now the Sean after. And I've turned a corner in my life that. Maybe I never really want to go back from. I'm as shocked as you guys are. You think I'm sitting here trying to be better than you? I'm in a state of like, aw almond and euphoria and confusion. Almond, confusion, euphoria. I need more snacks. Third tip, always serve with a side. 
<laughs> which are then carbs. All right, guys, I love you very much. I'm gonna get out of here. As always, thank you to the Rory Boyle Fan Club. Uh, that is the fan club that's, that donates $5 a month to keep this video and this channel going, going, gone, dude. So I appreciate you guys oh so much. If you have any other fun recommendations for recipes or stuff you wanna see, the Venmo, the Cash App, the PayPal, it goes a long, long way. Um, also, special shout out to the people that have been donating slash buying stuff off the registry for me at Ellie's wedding. I can't believe that's a thing. David Black, Jesse Moss, Luke Story. Thank you, thank you, thank you for, you know, that buys the Fritos for Allie. So, she bought those though. So, it's thank not a... Thank you for the gifts. <laughs> thank you for the gifts. Not entirely true that the Fritos, whatever, we get it. We'll see you guys very soon for another one. Dude, tomato cheeseburgers as the bread up. Tomato cheeseburgers as the bread down. Who even are we? <laughs> <laughs>